Hey everyone, Louie here. I've been using Cloud Code recently. It's a coding tool that can write and update code directly to your file system. It makes it really easy to do vibe coding. And now with MCP or the Model Context Protocol, we could extend the capabilities of an AI model to communicate with anything we'd like. You can write an MCP server so that Cloud can go fetch the weather or maybe something from a local database. So why not connect AI directly to the physical world? What could possibly go wrong? All right, for a robotics project, we can use a simple microcontroller like an Arduino. It has a USB port to connect to your PC. But to actually move things around, we're gonna want a servo, uh, one like this cheap little guy that has three uh, pins on it. You give it a number of degrees and it'll move the gear to that location. Now, coding this up is actually a lot easier than it sounds. So let's write an MCP server with Node.js. Okay, we'll start a project called Robot. So let's make a directory called robot. Let's go into that directory. And we're going to uh, make this an NPM module. So let's initialize that. Um, and we're gonna have some dependencies here. Now uh, I'm gonna add a few extra things uh, for our robot. Now let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, let's create a index.js file. Now I'm gonna copy some uh, code in here, which is basically the, the most simple um, MCP server. Now the basic MCP requirements would be uh, the MCP server module, a transport, and uh, Zod, which will allow us to specify the types uh, um, that Claude is gonna call us back with. I have some additional things in here, Johnny5 for robotics, uh, Web Audio Node. Uh, this is a library that I wrote for the JS Game Launcher, but it allows us to play audio and uh, talking to the file system. Now, um, where our, our basic function here, our main function, we're going to instantiate an MCP server, give it a name, a version, and a description. So in my case, a service that controls a robot uh, named Arnold's arm with the servo. Okay, um, now once you have that server, you're going to want to uh, create tools for the server. So uh, a, a tool is just these three parameters. It needs a name, so in this case, move my servo. Degrees, that's the parameter that's gonna be passed in, and using Zod, we can specify a type. So a number, that's an integer, between zero and 180, which is the range we'd want to give to a servo, um, such like uh, the servo that I, I have here. All right, now, the function that actually gets called for move my servo uh, takes that parameter that we specified before and it will return an array of content. Um, each one of the elements in there will have a type and um, the value that we're sending. And now that we have that tool defined, we're going to instantiate that transport. We're gonna connect the server to that transport and then fire this off. So that right there is the, the basics, right? Like it doesn't have to be, you know, moving a servo. In this case, we could, you know, instead just uh, reach out to another service somewhere, perhaps. But let's put in the robotics parts now. So I really like Johnny5. Five. Johnny5 has been around a while. And uh, Johnny5 is a really easy thing to use. When we connect an Arduino, all we have to do here is, let me reformat this. Um, we're going to instantiate a Johnny5 board. Uh, when that board is ready, we will uh, create a servo object, pin 10, that's where you plug it in on the board to the 10th pin, what its range is, and an angle for it to start when it fires up. Now, robots are a lot more fun when they can talk, so let's use my web audio implementation. And uh, just above this, I'm gonna create an audio context when the when, when this MCP service first fires up. And here's a little bit of web audio. This is the same for a web browser, um, but it's here anyways. Uh, this is a helper to play sound. And to actually load up a sound file, let's put that, we could put that in here as well. Uh, let's put that after the board here. And this is a, a little sloppy. So that uh, sound file, I'm going to read an MP3 file. I'm going to use web audio to decode it. And we're just about done here. Um, I'm going to replace, uh, or I'm gonna add some, some code here to actually handle 
if we have a servo instantiated, so when our board is ready, we have that servo from right here. And we can move the servo to the degrees specified when Claude calls this MCP service, uh, reply with some text, and then play a sound. And that is our robotics MTP, MCP service. Uh, now let's actually plug this into Claude. So to register an MCP service, we want to do Claude MCP add. And um, continue here. Let's call it robot. And uh, we'll just use this on the project here. It doesn't need to be global. The executable we're going to use is node. And the parameter we're going to give it is our uh, the full path to our, our file that we just wrote. Um, there's no more variables I'm using for this one here. So we just said enter, confirm, and we've added a service here. Uh, one more thing I want to do, though, is uh, that MP3 file that I specified that's going to make the rob robot talk for us. Uh, I'm just going to copy that over to this project. Okay, so now let me show you how I have things connected here. Um, when we give Claude a command, I've got this um, Arduino connected to a servo, and I, I made a little paper robot here. So uh, let's see how that, how that works. The paper robot has the servo connected to its arm. Okay, uh, so we have uh, Claude running. It says it found an MCP server. How about we do this? Move Arnie's arm to 90. It's going to um, ask me for permission, possibly? Yes. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> oh, no, it's pointing a gun. Move it back. Hasta la vista, baby. And there it is. Uh, we have connected AI to the real physical world. I'm using an Arduino um, and a servo. And that, that's pretty much it. We could go lots of places with this. Um, it'd be really interesting to see um, this MCP framework uh, working on um, other LLMs. But there's just a, a whole lot of cool stuff. Um, let me know what kind of stuff you're working on if you want me to keep going on these sorts of things. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks.